Before we start, I would like to come back to the problem with the escalator. I have been in contact with Anoma and they sent me the following answer. Thanks for reporting it. We have been able to replicate the problem here in a consistent way, but only when using the escalator seen from the demo files. It is probably something related to an outdated parameter that may have been left there in that particular scene. We will take a closer look and fix it on our next update. The tutorial about how to use Anima with Cinema 4D is very instructive and also funny. If you don't mind, we would like to tell you a couple of things about some details that you said in your tutorial. It is not necessary to export the backgrounds to FBX or OBJ to bring them to Anima registered anymore. Since version 3.5 you can use the Alive connection to synchronize both Cinema 4D and Anima and send updates between them directly with a single click. You can send a list of geometry objects to be used as backgrounds, auto-update the modifications made in Anima and even share the cameras from Cinema 4D to see through them inside Anima. Ok that's good news and I hope you've all been listening. For more details on how to use the used programs in my tutorials, you have to search for more information yourself. I am not a professional computer fuzzy and learn all these things self-taught. But I prefer to spend my time making call clips so I only learn what is necessary. Now let's continue with our story. Welcome back. In the third part of our project, we want to define the first camera movements and angles. To achieve the right atmosphere, we now need light signs. I have saved the light signs from my last clip and can now integrate them into the new scene. I install the signs in such a way that they create a balanced, interesting atmosphere. I make sure that I only place visible signs. Because we don't want any unnecessary rendering times. The first two camera views look good so far. Let's install a third camera. On this bridge, we will see a train coming towards us. But the light signs are still missing. Our scene, becomes more and more complex with every element. Until now, I do not have a created storyboard. I have everything in my head. But in order to better design the dramaturgy of the clip, I want to create a visual storyboard. I export all created camera sequences as a preview and import them into Premiere Pro. I will generate each scene at least 300 images long so I can be sure to have enough footage when editing the clips. Looks quite good already. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel to follow the next steps. Peace.